Nowadays, even a $100 phone comes with fingerprint sensor for security. But till today, no bikes in the world have fingerprint sensor for authentication. And bike stealing is increasing every day. But after watching this video, I believe you can make your own fingerprint security system just under $12. To get every detail about bikes, first I have visited a Royal Enfield workshop. Those guys were really awesome. They really helped me a lot. Then I have visited few more workshops to ensure every bike works in the same way. I am giving you some idea how motorcycle starts. At first, when we rotate the key, first it unlocks the handle and then power the bike. So this key works like a switch which connects two terminals internally. Then we press the self start switch to start the engine. But this switch works in different way. It is like a doorbell. We only need to press it for 1 or 2 seconds to start the engine. Then it returns to its original state. And the last and the most important thing is the kill switch, which if turned off the bike will never start. So our ultimate aim is to control those switches after verifying those fingerprints. Now it's time to do the electronics. So first I have drawn a simple circuit. To make this we will need a fingerprint sensor, Arduino Nano and few more components. Then I start building the circuit. Now the circuit is done. It is a very simple circuit. If you have some experience in circuitry, you can definitely build this. But if you are not from electronics background, don't worry. I also have designed a PCB for you. Click the link in the description. It will take you to the PCBWay website. There you can order the PCB. They took only 24 hours to build the PCB and ships all over the world. If you are ordering for the first time, it is absolutely free. So after getting the PCB, you just need to assemble all the components in the respective positions and solder it. When the circuit is finished, then it's time to connect the fingerprint sensor with Arduino and register our fingerprint. After that, I wrote few lines of codes and uploaded it to the Arduino. You can get it in the description box as well. The system is now ready, but to make it more interesting, first I have created a robotic voice and recorded it in the voice module. So after successfully verifying the fingerprint, this sound will play. Fingerprint accepted. Then I opened the side cover and after removing the seat, all wirings are exposed. Then I have connected one wire to the ignition out to turn on the bike without the key. After that I have cutted the wire used for kill and cell switch and connected it to my circuit so that I can operate the self and the kill using the circuit and finally powered the circuit from the battery. The connection is complete. Now I can start the bike using my respective registered fingers. I have registered my first finger for power on and off and kill enable and disable purposes and my thumb to start the engine. Fingerprint accepted. In case if someone tries to steal or use my key to start, the bike may turn on but the engine will never start without verifying the fingerprint. For the people who are interested to build this, they can find all the details in the description box below. For more such videos, please support my channel on Patreon and special thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Right now, a Christmas sale is going on on their website. Go and check that out. So see you in my next video. Till then, bye bye.